You might have seen him in bars all over Nashville. He's the shortest man in the room. Please give it up for Mr. John Trask, everybody. I grew up in a small town in Michigan where the buildings were so small, to kill yourself, you had to jump twice. I'd like to tell you about myself. I'm good at scaring girls away. <laughs> All I have to do is walk up and say, Hi, my name is John. I'm 34 years old. I'm single. And I've never been married. And I don't have any kids. And they run. They're gone. They're out of here. But if I go up to them and say, Yo, 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 my name is John. I got three kids with four different mamas. And I beat them daily. They're like, Oh my God. Will you do me? I am. Um, I believe that everybody is going to date somebody crazy at some point in their life. My first girlfriend would always call me whenever I went to hang out with my friends and say that she was going to commit suicide. So one time I told her, well, I'll see you hanging around when I get home. <laughs> now, she ended up in a mental hospital for two days. And everybody said, are you going to go see her? I like, heck no. That was the best vacation of my life. Got to sleep in, play video games, run around the house in her underwear. <laughs> Shoot, I even called her up in the hospital while wearing her underwear and said, hey, I'm going to kill myself if you don't come home now. <laughs> I was in the coffee shop that was playing rap music. That's pointless. Why would you play rap music in a coffee shop? That's like playing Amazing Grace in a strip club. <laughs> Or red, red wine at a Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Or we are the world at a Klan rally. <laughs> or you drop the bomb on me at Pearl Harbor. Or happy birthday at an abortion clinic. <laughs> or I would walk 500 miles at the Special Olympics. <laughs> or the thong song at a retirement home. I like to eat chicken on a stick, but they sure did put up a fight when you jammed that stick up their ass. <laughs> this girl told me to hit her up sometime, so I punched her in the gut. <laughs> a friend of mine told me that dating is like shooting fish in a barrel. I disagree, you can't shoot the date. Whenever I go into a Chinese restaurant, I like to eat with two forks instead of chopsticks, because I'm not a conformist. <laughs> Ten minutes of material in two seconds. Yay! Um, I jammed my toe so hard that it got its own record deal. <laughs> Thank you. I went into McDonald's. And they asked me if I would like to try the new Daily Devil. I replied, no, I always get that question wrong. <laughs> a friend of mine is worried about how he's never found the Hidden Valley for Hidden Valley Ranch. I don't care where the Hidden Valley is, I just wonder what they're doing in that valley. <laughs> I don't like to go on blind dates because they're easy to dish. <laughs> I like to go on one night stands with Amish girls because they don't have a cell phone to call you back the next day. I um, went to the doctor and the doctor told me that I have shift work disorder. Now for those of you who don't know what shift work disorder is, it's that when you work at odd hours and you don't get enough sleep. And the side effects of these things are loss of sleep, same things, and thoughts of committing suicide. So basically, I'll be too tired to kill myself while seeing ghosts. I don't know how this works. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't like to beat the dead horse. I like to torture it while it's still alive. I heard somebody say that they played in a band in Nashville. That's great. That's like saying you're a hooker in Las Vegas. There's tons, nobody cares. I was in a coffee shop and somebody was complaining that there's too much coffee on the menu. That's like going to Compton and complaining that there's too many hookers. 
or going to France and complaining that too much French is being spoken, <laughs> or going into a gay bar and complaining there's too many Republican senators inside. Whoa! I'm John Trask. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> John Trask, everybody, give him a hand. Hey, the homecoming king and queen got an extra person. I can see where this night's going. <laughs> All right, New Year's Eve. We got a big show coming up here with Spanky Brown.